guys, hope you're doing very well. In today's video, I'm gonna do another tattoo etiquette video. This is my series where I take someone's video from YouTube and talk about the points that they have been talking about. If that makes any sense. When it comes to tattoos, I've done quite a few videos like this. I will leave a link down below to a playlist if you wanna see more and what these are about. The channel I'm gonna be talking about today is called Blue Collar Logic. That is um, formed by two guys, one called Dave, one called Jason, and they talk about you know, the usual topics middle-aged men like to talk about and give their opinions about. Um, you know, we've had two on this channel so far. There was Paul Joseph Watson and that other guy, Arsehole Patrol. So if you watch those other tattoo etiquette videos, you know what this kind of video is gonna entail. This one was probably the most enraging for me. So with my tattoo etiquette videos, I watched the video before, so it's not a reaction video. I actually really deep dive and discuss about the points that these people are talking about. So I pre-watched the videos, I cut them up into clips, and I have never felt so much rage towards one video in all my life in a very long time that isn't to do with like Logan Paul or whatever, you know? Like I felt pure rage cutting this up and you'll see why. You'll, you'll definitely see why the further we get into this video. But yeah, the video I'm gonna talk about is called The Case Against Tattoos. <sighs> yep. If you are 40 years old and your arms are sleeved with tats, this video is not directed at you. Please stop watching. If you have a tiny butterfly on your panty line or Harley insignia on your bicep and you stopped at that, this video is not for you. But if you're a 17 year old girl who is obsessing about what tattoos you'll get when mom and dad are no longer the boss of you, I urge you to listen to me. Think of me as your reasonably cool uncle who is giving you a bit of advice that you didn't ask for. Put up with me for eight minutes. That's all I ask. Does anyone else get really creepy vibes from this? I'm your cool uncle and you're a 17 year old girl. Does anyone not see anything wrong with this at all? Is it just me that sees something a little bit creepy about this, a little bit wrong with this statement and the way he's behaving? It gets, it gets worse as the video goes on as well. It just feels really creepy and... Like this whole video is directed to a young female. Why don't you have a problem with males getting tattooed at a young age? Like literally the whole video is directed at a young woman why can't this be directed towards a young male like there's this huge stigma that women with tattoos are trashy and you know not worthy or wife material or not smart or educated but when men get tattooed oh that's fine you know that's just what men do it's a manly thing to do oh god i, I don't want to get mad right at the beginning of the video but i'm already feeling things, you know? Anyway, besides that, he's talking to a fictional or his audience, which I highly doubt a 17 year old girl is gonna be watching his content, let's be serious. So I guess he's relying on parents or annoying uncles or annoying grandparents that love to tell people what to do with their body to share this video and be like, oh yeah, you've got to watch this. My 17 year old niece, daughter, granddaughter, whoever, that's what he's relying on. But if one of my family members sent me a video like this to me when I was 17, I'd just be like, get the fuck out of it, get fucked. Like nobody could tell me anything at 17. That's what it's like. When you're young, you know, 16, 17, 18, whatever, nobody can tell you how to live your life. Nobody can tell you how to adult because when you're that age, you think you know it all and you have all the life experience. Like there's nothing you can say to a person of that age. Nothing. If they want to get a tattoo, they're gonna get a tattoo. There's no talking them out of it. Like, this whole thing to start off with is completely pointless. Like, nobody is gonna listen to this guy at that age. And then anyone older than that, they're just gonna be like, no thank you, like I can make my own decisions. You're being a bit creepy. I'm 28 and I have a nice handful of tattoos. And he didn't specify that someone like me cannot watch this video because I'm you know, female and I have more than one or two tattoos and I have more than a sleeve and I'm not like 40. I can watch this video, right? Like if you didn't want people like me to watch this video and commentate on it, you should have been a bit more specific. So let's get on with this. Imagine that I was to give you a thousand dollars and you were free to spend it and didn't have to pay it back. It's yours with two conditions. 
The first condition is that you have to spend it all on clothes, on one outfit. You can get the most awesome jeans and that amazing leather jacket, the boots you've had your eye on for months, all of the coolest gear that $1,000 will buy, and then deal with my second condition, and that is as follows. This new outfit of yours, the fruits of the best shopping spree ever, you will have to wear that outfit for one solid month. Even I can't imagine being forced to wear the same shirt and pants every day for a month. Did he... Did he really go there? Did, did he... Is he... What the... Did he really compare tattoos to clothing? Like, did he really go there? Did he actually do that? Did he... Uh, what? <laughs> Are we okay? You know someone is really uneducated about tattoos and the tattoo lifestyle when they compare tattoos to clothing? someone tattoos are not a fashion statement they're not like a popular gucci jumper that's only going to be popular for a year okay tattoos have been around for thousands and thousands and thousands of years way before fashion even existed like tattoos are older than clothes itself right people have been marking and scarring their bodies on purpose for thousands and thousands of years for many different reasons. It's got nothing to do with fashion. It just, oh my God, my head physically hurts. Tattoos become your skin. You don't necessarily notice them in a way where you would get bored of them. You know, you don't continuously stare at your tattoos and be like, oh wow, yeah, I'm really getting sick of seeing this now. Like, it doesn't work like that. Like, if he had a tattoo, he would know this. Like, why are people with no tattoos commenting on tattoos when they have no idea about having tattoos? Like, why are you doing this when you don't have a clue about this? If you had tattoos, you would know that tattooed people do not look at their tattoos all the time and get bored of them like they would with a Gucci jumper, okay? to completely different things. It's just like comparing apples and oranges. Like, what are you doing, mate? You're about to have a stranger draw pictures on your skin. Wait, not on your skin, in your skin. You'll wear it everywhere you go for a month. And after that, another month, and another, and another, and then a year, and another year, and another, and another, and another. Thank you so much for that bit of information. I literally did not have a clue. That's how tattoos work. I am now so much wiser and full of knowledge that you said that. Like, I think a three-year-old knows how a tattoo works and what a tattoo is. We don't need the mansplaining. The girl who held your hand while the tattoo gun shot ink into your flesh. No, 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 no. A thousand times no. Just please, everybody out there, if you're gonna make content about tattoos, get the equipment right. If you're gonna talk about something, talk about it like you know. You don't have to know everything, but for the love of God, it is a tattoo machine. It's not like, please, like, don't make... <laughs> It's just one of my biggest pet peeves. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm being a little bit over dramatic about this, but. You'll work for a year or two and then go to community college and find out that you really like learning. You'll transfer to a real college and study something that you never knew existed way back when you and Madison were looking through the tattoo book together. You'll laugh at the goofy haircuts you wore when somebody posts pictures on a social media site that isn't even a thing yet. Maybe you'll move to another state. Maybe one of your parents will die. Important things will happen. And every single time you look in a mirror or catch your reflection in a store window or just look down at your own arm or belly or leg, that stupid tattoo will be right where it was yesterday. And every yesterday, there will never, ever, ever be one single minute that that stupid angelfish is not stuck to your skin. Are you with me? Are you feeling this? No, I'm not. I literally have no idea what he's talking about at all. Does anyone have a clue what he's talking about? Like, I've been to college, I've had a parent die all while being a tattooed person, and here I am still very much confused at what he's trying to say here. Like, am I meant to hate my tattoos because I had them through a period of my life? Like, I got my first tattoo over 11 years ago, and I'm still to this day continuously getting tattooed. I get that he's trying to warn people to stop them from making rebellious mistakes but he's literally talking about a rare case scenario where a young girl will get one 
tattoo to rebel against their parents or whatever. And the way he's speaking, it's as if he's talking to someone in the 90s, when that kind of thing was a lot more common. Now people get tattoos for the art or the meaning of the tattoo or both, you know, there's no right or wrong. Tattooing has come such a long way since his like younger days and he really needs to take a step back and research the topic that he's talking about before he spews out this misinformation because what he's saying is so outdated and Oh, there's gonna be so many people loving his video, you know. I remember when tattoos were for outliers. When I was young, a tattoo was a symbol of either adventure, duty, or rebellion. And it was only men, notoriously inept at expressing feelings, who felt the need to wear a permanent badge. Look, I was in the Navy. Look, I have a motorcycle. Look, I love my mom. I'm sorry, but that is just so, so fucking rude. Like, this angers me to no end. If someone fought for your country and is fucking proud of it to the point where they want to get a tattoo to show it, then what the fuck is wrong with that? Then who the fuck are you to tell them they're inept of feeling things? What man or woman goes through that, some of the most horrific scenes you could ever think of in war zones for the fun of it. You have to have some kahunas and bravery and you have to be so unselfish to put your life at danger every day to do something like that. And you're just sitting here saying they're inept of feeling. I, oh my God, no, just, Absolutely fucking not. Sit the fuck down. That is rude. It is disgusting. Just don't go there. Tattoos caught on and caught on big. And they caught on as a fad. Make no mistake, a fad. You know what fads are for, right? Fads are for conformists. We all go through our conformist years when we want to do everything our friends are doing. But as we grow up, we leave that behind and develop into our own unique selves. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna repeat myself. Tattoos are thousands of years old. Have they increased in popularity as society has become more accepting of them? Yes. But so has facial hair. Are you conforming? Do you have your facial hair because all your other male friends have facial hair? Or do you do it because you like to have facial hair? I'm guessing it's because you like to have facial hair. Because I'm a logical person who understands people do things with their own body because they want to. Not because everybody else is. Like I said, I got my first tattoo over 11 years ago and I got it because I wanted it. Yeah, sure, I had a couple of friends back then that had the odd tattoo here and there, but I don't talk to them anymore. And I have progressively got more and more tattoos because I wanted them, not because anyone else has influenced me to get them. Tattoos have been a huge part of my life for a very, very long time. I can remember way back when I was a kid, I was fascinated by them. I thought anyone with a tattoo was cool. I wanted to be their friend. I thought they were interesting and creative. I wanted to do it because I loved the art of tattooing also. I'm the most tattooed person in my circle. So no one in my family has tattoos. My best friend has one tattoo. My other best friend has no tattoos. My boyfriend has no tattoos. Like it's all me. No one is influencing me. You cannot make a broad statement like that. Just because maybe you knew one person that got a tattoo because someone else got a tattoo or whatever. That's one case. Me and the rest of my audience, that's you know, 54,000 people right now have come to me and subscribed to me because they also love tattoos, have a massive interest and a passion in tattoos. And they don't do it for anyone else, they do it for themselves. Isn't that enough proof? Like there's 54,000 people and that's not everyone in the world, obviously. There's so many more people out there like me that love tattoos and the art. Like you cannot just be like, you're conforming. You're doing it because of peer pressure. Blah, 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 blah. Like, no, it's not like that. No more personal growth that might take you into a world where tats are looked at as evidence that you are not a smart decision maker. You'll dial back your expectations of life. A hundred opportunities will come your way and just to avoid embarrassment, you'll pass on them all. Is this guy okay? Where he's living, is Bird Box happening? Like, do we need to send in Sandra Bullock to help this guy? Is he wearing a blindfold? Is, is he having some issues? I recently did a video on a woman called Sarah. She is a doctor training to be a surgeon. She is also very heavily tattooed. 
And there are so many other women and men like her who are thriving and living their best life all while being tattooed or heavily tattooed. Like being tattooed or having tattoos or having one tattoo does not disable you from living your best life. And you may also miss out on true love because your options will be limited. That's just a fact. Oh my god, I'm literally losing the will to live with this guy. Like, what? Where did he come from? Can he go back to where he come from? Go back into your 1920s time warp hole. Like, go back in there. Go. Shoo. Like, what does he even mean by this? Because you're tattooed, you can't find the love of your life and you have to settle? Like, what? what is he trying to say? When I met Liam, who is my boyfriend of nearly six years, kind of, sort of, it'll be six years in May, I did not have that many tattoos. Like, I had, you know, a good amount of tattoos, like a, a handful or more. I got more and more tattoos as the years went by while I've been with him, and it's not been an issue at all. And he's not tattooed himself either. Before anyone makes the assumption that I'm with someone that is tattooed as well, and that's why we're like a perfect match, and that's why we're together and we're happy or whatever, he has zero tattoos. If someone doesn't want to be with you because you want to get a tattoo or because you have a tattoo, good. Fuck off. Having tattoos is a great way of weeding out judgmental, shallow people from your life. Like, if people don't want to interact with you or associate with you because you have tattoos, good, fantastic. Like, tattoos are a great investment. Not only do they look good and they are meaningful artwork on your skin that you can carry around for the rest of your life, but they are asshole repellent as well. It's fantastic. So I highly recommend investing in, in tattoos if you don't like judgmental people because, yeah, they will avoid you or they will come out of the woodwork and think they know you and what your life is about because you have a tattoo. So it's a little bit risky, but it can work out for the best if you're lucky. <laughs> okay, so I don't normally read the comments on videos when I do tattoo etiquette videos, but this, this uh, just like most of this video, they are literally enraging. I don't mind tattoos. They help identify the people I don't want to associate with. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Don't come near me. Don't even look at me. Don't even acknowledge that I exist. Exist. Don't go out of your way to be an arsehole. Like if people really didn't care about tattoos the way they say they do, then why do they go out of their way to create such a fuss about them? Like if you don't like them or don't care about them or you think we're a certain type of way, why do people put so much energy into expressing that opinion? Tattoos on an attractive woman are like graffiti on the Taj Mahal. What is it with people, most probably a man, putting a massive divide between tattooed women and tattooed men. Why are tattooed women the bad people in this situation? Why are we always singled out? Why is it okay for a man to be tattooed but a woman not? We're not in the 1920s anymore, okay? I mean, there was tattooed women in the 1920s, but still, if you're gonna hate on tattooed people, hate on all genders. All of them. Not just single out on women. Like, why are women the ones to get picked on? There is nothing creative about tattoos these days. Cookie cutter insecurity patches. Why do people like this have the exact same argument all the time? It's always the tattoos look so bad. They look so terrible. They're uncreative. You get them from a book. Like, it literally takes two seconds nowadays to find a good tattoo and a good tattoo eye. I don't know why all these old school mentality people are still coming out of the woodwork with their whole, oh, all portraits look the same, they all look like feet. No, tattoos are literally not like that anymore. Most of them are custom drawn, all right? They're unique. They haven't come from a flash book from the 1950s, 1960s, 1980s, or whatever. Yes, there are still tattoo artists that do that, and absolutely fair enough. Let's keep that alive because that is a big part of the history of tattooing. But there is a whole other side to tattooing now. It's changed so much in the past 10, 20 years. I mean, in the past five years. In fact, since I've been doing YouTube, I've been doing this for three years. Tattooing has come such a long way. In just three years, I've been doing this, sitting on a chair, talking about tattoos. Like, oh, Jesus Christ. Why is there people like this out there? Just get ready. Like, if you're a mother, this is gonna enrage so many people. I'm in Hawaii right now on vacation, and when we go to the beach, I'm amazed at how many women have tattoos. Again, singling out women. Men are okay to have tattoos. Women though, oh, 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 touchy subject. I've got to write about this. I'm really fucking enraged about this. I've got to write about this and tell the world that women have tattoos in Hawaii. Shock, horror, 
stop everything. It's enraging to me. Like, fucking, oh my God. Anyway, I've never looked at a woman with a tattoo and thought that really improved what God did. Just gonna bring in God there to fit your agenda. We're gonna use religion because it is to most people a higher power. So I'm gonna slide that in there to make my point seem even stronger. Great, awesome, thanks Matt, cool. That's real smart of you. A woman with a tattoo advertises to the world that she doesn't have impulse control and will not be a good wife or mother. I honestly do not understand the logic here at all. And with the 156 people that thumbsed up that comment and the channel that have liked this comment they gave them the heart thing i don't know what is more enraging this person's logic or his hatred towards a woman that has done something to their body because they wanted to and whatever like what for whatever reason a person or a woman gets a tattoo just because a woman has a tattoo does not make them a bad person or doesn't make them ill-equipped to be a good wife or mother like if a woman was sweet wholesome, unselfish, and something you would deem to be a good wife or mother without a tattoo, and then she gets a tattoo. Why does that all of a sudden make her an ill-fit mother and a horrible wife? Just because she's decorated her skin with some ink. That's all it is. It's someone putting some ink on their skin. Why does that all of a sudden make them a bad person or a really horrible mother just because they've done that to themselves? They've gone to a tattoo studio for an hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, or however many hours it has taken to do that tattoo. Why does that all of a sudden mean they're a bad person? person. Where is your logic in that, you fucking idiot? Like, what is going through your mind that makes you think tattoos equals a bad person? I don't, it just doesn't make sense to me at all. When I was 16, I got in trouble with the law. They took me in to book me. As they were fingerprint, I think he means as they were fingerprinting, the policeman asked me, I think you mean asked me, if I had any scars birthmarks or tattoos. I asked why and he said for identification marks, thinking I was going to be a permanent criminal. I made a mental observation, no tattoos. 50 years later, my body is clean and that was the last time I was arrested. Terry, mate, I don't want to state the fucking obvious, but the reason why you were arrested is because you did something bad and the police wanted to take you in. It's got nothing to do with tattoos or the way you were representing yourself. It's got to do with the fact that you were a fucking idiot. What the fuck? You really think not getting tattoos would stop you from being a criminal? Tattoos do not equal criminal. I have never been arrested. I have never been to a police station. It's just like people try and make themselves feel special because they don't have a tattoo. Like they feel like they're a special snowflake because they don't have a tattoo. It's just like, oh, I don't have a tattoo. I'm not a criminal. It's just like, no mate, you're actually a criminal because you got arrested before you even thought about getting a tattoo or you didn't have a tattoo. So in actual fact, you've been in trouble with the law more than I have and I have more tattoos than you. Where is, what is it, why? What is this comment about, seriously? God said, don't mark on yourself. It's in the Bible, good enough for me. What is the betting that this person doesn't follow the Bible? What is the betting this person voted Trump? What happened to love thy neighbor? Hmm? I guess this person doesn't love thy neighbor because I guess if thy neighbor it has tattoos, this guy's gonna be a dick about it, so. I just love when people bring up religion to make themselves, you know, seem more superior and the higher power is the one that says everything. I've got nothing against people that are religious at all. I think it's a powerful thing. I just don't like when people use it to fit their agenda but then they don't abide by their religion. And I know people fuck up, it's, you know, it, people do fuck up, but it's cases like this, it's just like, stop, man, just stop. Thanks for making this great video. I just shared it with my 15 year old daughter who can't wait to get a tattoo as soon as we're no longer the boss of her. I'm a 43 year old woman who vowed never to get a tattoo while everyone around me was getting them. I mean, Susan, do you want a medal for your a massive achievement and accomplishment in life for not getting a tattoo because everyone else was getting one? Like, what do you want from us? Like, your bravery is just so amazing. I am so inspired by it. Like, I have never smoked a cigarette in my life. I have never been drunk in my life. Do you see me? Sitting here all the time bragging about it. No, I mean none of you even knew that about me. I, you just like these things. It's not something to be like 
braggy about, you know? Like, well done, have a fucking medal, special snowflake, woo, yeah! It's just your personal choice and preference, hun. Like, chill out. Mainly because I was afraid of how distorted it may look when I'm old. Why is this always brought up? Always, 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 always. Anyone that is not tattooed, the first thing they want to comment about if they're against tattoos is, what will you look like when you're older? Oh my god, your tattoos are gonna look so shit when your skin's all wrinkly, right? And isn't everyone's skin gonna look all shit when it's wrinkly? Like, have you ever looked at an old person's skin and thought, oh fuck yeah, that really turns me on. Look at those wrinkles. Oh, let me get gyrate on that. No one, not one single person finds old people's skin attractive. Like, it's a common thing. It doesn't look the best, but I'd rather have colours or muddy smudgy blotches all over it, they're not. That's my personal preference. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, honestly, when I'm 70, 80, 90, I mean, if I even get to that age, who knows? I could get hit by a bus tomorrow. Who fucking knows? We do not know our future. But if I get to an older age, I will just be lucky and grateful that I can stand up or walk or talk or breathe by myself. Like, we, when you get to that age, you don't care what you look like. You're just grateful to be alive, for fuck's sake. Like, behave. And also, I don't like needles. Okay, that is a very fair point. I will leave that there. That's understandable. I'm so grateful that I made at least one good decision in my rebellious years. If I had ever gotten one, I wouldn't be married to the love of my life today, as tattoos are a complete deal breaker for him. If someone cannot see past one tattoo, two tattoos, three tattoos, a hundred tattoos, and they're willing to sacrifice the love of their life, the person that will make them happy for the rest of their life, over a tattoo or tattoos. That is so shallow, I actually just don't understand it. I do not understand that at all. Why are people willing to sacrifice their happiness because someone has some ink on their skin? I get that people have personal preferences and yeah, okay, I'm not expecting everyone to be attracted to tattoos. I'm really not, but it's so petty and pathetic when people will not give you the time of day or associate with you or date you because you have tattoos. Like, give a person a chance. You never know, that person could be the love of your life. Like, why are you not willing to see past that? Oh my god, this is what I'm talking about when it comes to people being petty. My ex-wife got a tattoo of a tulip on her left breast. It was hideous, so I divorced her. This guy divorced his wife over a tattoo. Could you imagine being that lawyer or that divorce attorney or whatever you want to call them in that situation? Like, when someone of law or of power says, why are you getting divorced? And then this man blurts out, cause she got a tattoo on her breast. Could you, I, I could not keep my shit together. I would just be like, wait, what? You're gonna give up years of commitment over a bit of ink on someone's skin? Like you're, you're really gonna do that? Like for better or worse, does that mean nothing to you? Like there's people like this man saying that people in same-sex relationships are ruining what marriage is. There's people like this divorcing their partners because they got a tattoo on their breast of a flower. It's not even offensive. Like, I'd understand if it was like racist or homophobic or something, you know, not cool. It's a flower. You're going to dismiss your wife <laughs> over a tattoo. That is the most pettiest shit ever. And wait, it gets worse. <laughs> I couldn't help that it turned me off. I just can't. Like, this man has probably been married to this woman for so long and just a bit of ink has turned his willy so limp. Oh my god. She did what she wanted to do. Well, yeah, she's a grown woman. She's gonna do what she wants. It's her body. She can do what she wants. So I did what I had to do. I spent the next seven years alone, avoiding women at all costs. It seemed like they all had tattoos. I realized the selfishness of these women and how they treated others and wanted nothing to do with any of them. So this man spent seven years alone in his own seething hatred towards any woman with tattoos, or to be honest, any woman, let's be serious. Like, you're only punishing yourself here. What people do to their bodies, at the end of the day, it's none of your business and it shouldn't affect you that much. Like, it just shouldn't affect you. Tattoos really shouldn't affect you to the point where you're willing to avoid people or women 
for seven years and how they treated others how they treated others dude you're the one sacrificing your happiness and the name of love because you hate the tattoos so much and I cannot get my head around him saying that tattooed women or tattooed people, whatever he's trying to get at here, are selfish. And on what planet did he get these statistics? Like, just because his wife, someone who he should have stayed with, for better or worse, you know, vows, do they not mean anything to anybody anymore? There are so many tattooed people that are doing so many selfless acts around the world nowadays. Like I was saying, I did a video on a heavily tattooed doctor that wants to be a surgeon. That obviously takes so much time and patience and she's sacrificing hours of her day to help other people. Not a selfish act at all, is it? Let's be serious. Firemen continuously saving lives. They have tattoos. Policemen helping people, you know, catching the bad guys. People in the army, navy. Like, the list is endless. There are tattooed people all over the place working in so many different industries that help people that are not selfish in any single way. Being selfish has got nothing to do with being tattooed. A person is selfish with or without a tattoo. Then one day a flawless woman landed on my lap and I lived happily ever after. I consider myself lucky. So what he's saying here is the woman had no tattoos. She was flawless. She was pure perfection. She was unmarked. She was untainted. Anyway, that is enough for me today. I cannot simply read any more. So yeah, I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions on the video that I have talked about and the comments I have read out. How do you feel about all these people singling out women? But yeah, I hope you guys are all doing very, very well. And until my next video, bye.